goes on guys we're back here again with yet another review and today we're finally going to be taking a look at the teenage mutant ninja turtles loyal subjects best action feature action figure whatever they want to call it line of teenage mutant ninja turtles this is the walmart exclusive san diego comic-con edition of the four pack of the turtles um and this was really hard to find but i was able to find it and i, I can't believe that it did the box is a little damaged and for paying something as expensive as this is i mean it's gonna throw you back about 80 dollars which is a hard pill to swallow but luckily I, I managed to scrounge up a couple change so you know what are you gonna do but taking a look at the packaging here man i love that you get to see teen Mutant ninja turtles there you get to see one of the turtles it doesn't really indicate which it is eating the pizza in the color scheme that you'll see them in the box this box is supposed to model a pizza box so like you can see the flap like when you open pizza here's the receipt from the the order, I guess, and it's one Leonardo, one Michelangelo, one Donatello, and one Raphael, and it says exclusive. I love that. On the side, you get like the pizza checkers and then the turtles going down in their color schemes, which looks cool. This one looks different from the other ones, so I'm assuming that one's Mikey, but and then on the back, you get these awesome, like, almost like mugshot style photos of the turtles. It says 0.31 points of articulation, which is really, really cool. And then you get read ups for each of them so if you want to read those go for it you get to see the accessories there here is the barcode on the bottom it really helped me definitely ask some people they could probably help you get it and then the other side there's nothing on there at all but you can open up the flap to see the grease stained that looks like the, the box like the top of the box but it looks like a turtle's logo which is super cool you get to see all the weird toppings across the side peanut butter and jelly bananas pickles pepperoni you know that they like all the weird shit and then obviously you get to see the turtles inside and that's held together by velcro which is awesome so i'm definitely going to keep this box but with all that being said i believe it's about time that we go ahead and open this thing up because i'm extremely really excited so let's go ahead and do just that so taking these guys out of the package i mean they're pretty much what i expected especially after playing around with the regular release of Raphael and michelangelo but i will say that this is one of my most unique sets of turtles at this point because i don't have any gray ones and i also don't have any with all the red bandanas i know that's how they originally appeared and i've kind of been wanting that for a while so to finally have that in the set is pretty cool but for the most part they're pretty what you would expect other than the corresponding letters for their belts they are almost exactly the same but i will commend loyal subjects on giving them different paint schemes for each of them so taking a look at mikey's Mikey, we'll use him as the, the default one as well, since we used him for the other one. But you get a little bit of paint, like blood, so to speak, on the shoulder there. A little bit of splatter on the chest, some cuts. I don't really understand how cuts would be on the shell, but whatever. Get a little bit of scratch marks on his head, which look nice. The bandanas are all red, whereas the pads and the belts are all black, which I like that. You get a little bit of cuts on his forearm and his thighs there. And then he has his nunchuck holders. So that looks cool. That's his, like, cut pattern, so to speak. Leonardo's is different. You get some cuts on the shells again. A little bit only on this thigh. Some on, the, uh, some on the upper biceps, whereas you get a little bit on the chest. And then you get different cuts on his face. Or this is Raphael. I'm sorry, I might have said Leonardo. But no paint on the back of any of them, I don't think. And again, you get the cleanly painted R, black pads, red mask. You know, he always has a red mask. But um, I also want to note that they do have the whited out eyes, which is also something that I like. Donatello only has his left thigh cut up. He's got some splatter up on the chest there and some more splatter and some cuts on the other side of his chest. He gets a little bit of paint in his butterfly joint, which I always like to see when they do that. So up on the bicep and then the other side of the bicep, he has along with the cut there, the red mask, black pads, solid D, pause, um, and all the good stuff that we like to see with the gray scale turtles. I like the sculpt on all of them, as I mentioned in my other one. I think, I don't know what's wrong with Donatello's legs, but they're not coming together super well. He might, there's something wrong with his thigh, um, which is a little annoying because like, like I said at the beginning of this video, these are not the cheapest figures, but eh, what are you going to do? And then Leonardo seems like he's got the most cuts. I mean, that's a pretty big cut across the chest there. His right thigh's got some bad action to it. Upper th upper biceps both have it. A little bit on the face. And then, like I said, the mask, black pads, solid L. And then he has his bands for his weapons. But 
you know, looks pretty cool. And I, I think they look cool together. And like I said, it's a very unique set of turtles, but there is a crap ton of accessories for these guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So there is a lot here, but starting it off, they do give you a sticker with their logo for each release that they do, which is really cool because you don't see this in the package. So when I opened it up, it was cool. Um, I got a gray one with the regular release Raphael and then a rainbow one with Michelangelo. So even if you want to collect these, it's pretty cool. But um, you do get a plethora of hands here. You get fisted hands for each of them. You get grippy hands for each of them. And you get the wide open hands that they have on them right now out of the package for each of them except i'm missing one fist for mikey um i don't know if i misplaced it but i'm pretty sure i didn't i'm pretty sure it just wasn't there they have their corresponding weapons also done in a gray scheme black what i'm actually just noticing now is that there's two different skin tones leo and raf have a darker skin tone whereas donnie and mikey have slightly lighter so the hands correspond to that you can kind of see it better in the hands actually that there's different colors on them which i didn't notice so that's pretty cool actually i kind of like that would have been cooler if they were all different grays personally i would like that but whatever um like i was mentioning they do get their weapons so here's leo's katanas black handles like a whitish uh blade donnie gets a gray staff very simple, no paint on that. Raphael gets his sigh, of course, black handles. And then Mikey gets his chucks with more of a grayish like paint on there. Leo comes with a sewer cap, city sewer. That looks cool. Donnie comes with a piece of pizza, all done in gray as well. I like that. Raf comes with the same accessories that he came with the regular release, the kunai and the shuriken, and Michelangelo comes with the same release as well. The grapple gun, all just done in grayscale. And then they each come with interchangeable heads. Raphael's and Mikey's are the same ones that they came with, which I like. Done with the same kind of scarring that they have on their faces which i like that attention to detail so the heads that they come with it is this the markings of the blood are in the same spot which is really cool but then donnie comes with a goofy looking head sculpt but i kind of like that i'll probably put this on michelangelo to be honest i like this one more for michelangelo and i like this one that leo comes with more on raf so i mean luckily you can kind of switch that around luckily these are the same color like mikey and donnie have the same colors whereas raf and leo have the same colors so that's pretty cool but i do like these alternate heads so I mean, yeah, it's an expensive set, but you do get quite a bit in it. So it kind of justifies it a little bit more. So I'm not going to do like crazy comparisons to other sets of turtles because I don't really have that many here. If you want to see comparisons, go check out my review of these guys. I did them in a separate video to keep these Comic-Con ones exclusive, quote unquote, to themselves. But you can see that this is a stark difference here. You get very dark, muted colors, whereas you get very bright colors on the common release. So, you know, it's your pick. Pick your cup of tea kind of thing. I like having both because I'm crazy and want to get as many sets of the turtles as I can. But they are definitely different enough to justify buying both. So I really, really like that. And, you know, I don't really know which one I like better. In a sense, you know, you like the classic colors. But then in a sense, this is very new and unique and very well done. So I like both. It's just kind of your own thing kind of deal. So you guys might be wondering, what are you thinking of these figures, Ant? And I got to say, they're pretty cool. I think these are definitely better in a sense of quality control than the re the common releases are. I don't have any loose joints on these like I do on Raphael. The legs aren't popping off. The heads are way easier to get on and off. I mean, they're still difficult. I think still a little bit too difficult, but they do get the job done. And they look nice together. I love getting different sets of turtles. Kind of sucks that we have to wait for the other ones to get released. Um, I don't know why they didn't do them all together, but, you know, what are you going to do? So... Probably wonder what my rating on these would be. And if, was, if I was to give this box set at the price point of $80, which is also very hard to swallow, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. It's the same as I gave the regular release. Now, while I said that they are better, they are a little bit more expensive. You're going to be paying more per figure for these than you do for the regular ones, which is not a problem if you know that's what you're going into. But considering that there's a lack of paint variation between these guys, and you get the same exact accessories as the regular ones, you're really just buying this for the paint. And I feel like while the paint apps are there, there could have been something more added for that price point. But, you know, that could be just me. Maybe I'm crazy and uh, I'm being a big baby about it. But $80 is hard 
to swallow. But with that being said, I still do really like the set. And with that, that being said, that's all I got for today. So if you have not already, do yourself the favor and me and comment, subscribe. And I did that terribly. Like, comment, subscribe. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this for a little bit now. But go ahead and do all the YouTube stuff. It is greatly appreciated when you do so. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting a lot on TikTok recently. and I have a lot of fun with it. So go check that out. But I leave you with the same thing I do all the time. Let me know. You copping these guys? If you can find them, that is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.